Let's All right, my number six team is the Green Bay Packers. Okay, I have the Packers higher than this. Okay, all right. So, Evan Williams, their safety, playing phenomenal. He is, mm -hmm. uh, I think, the highest-graded safety, let alone the highest-graded defensive rookie in the NFL right now for how well he is playing. The confidence, the recognition, the anticipation, how well he is playing on the back end of that Jaff Halfley defense with Xavier McKinney. I mean, they are just playing off each other very, very well, especially when he is playing from one of those deep safety spots, whether it's a two-safety or a single-safety set. So I think he is playing very well. I think Edron Cooper hasn't played a ton, but when they put him out there, along with Eric Wilson, along with Quay Walker, they're allowing... Uh, Edgerin Cooper to just utilize his athleticism as a run and chase player, but also sometimes as a coverage dropper too. You're already seeing signs of really good return on investment from that, so I love to see that from Edgerin Cooper. Uh, you have Jonathan Bullard as well, who gets into that safety mix, but also he's that slot defender type of a player who has flashed already this season, been a little bit up and down, but I think he is great, especially when you give the context of the nature of the position, how it's a little bit up and down and what they are asking him to do. He has played very solid. So I think specifically on the defensive side of the football, they've absolutely nailed it with these three guys. Jordan Morgan, been a little bit up and down within that offensive line, but the offensive line's playing better with some veterans that they have in that group there anyway. So I think just overall, the very top of the Packers draft, especially on the defense side of the ball, hard to argue with their success. So I had them right outside the top five at number six here. I had them number two, actually. Ooh. Um, and, and the reason, I think, it looks like they got three starters to me. Like at this point, obviously, we'll see. Is the only reason it could be pause on this is just Cooper's role hasn't really like grown into like a full time linebacker yet. Like, but he's been so impressive in what he's done. And what I've been impressed with the most is just his IQ and his intensity. Like he has found the football consistently. The pass game stuff that he's doing, like in coverage, like the versatility of his usage in coverage is just highly impressive. So from a process standpoint, he seems like the modern day linebacker and what you want at that position. Now you're kind of working backwards and seeing if he can grow into like a full time early downs role as well, because they haven't used him much in that capacity so far. Um, but that'll so that will inform the decision more. So if you want to push back because that hasn't happened yet, that is probably fair. I think Evan Williams looks like a future star, and you know he's only started about half the game so far too, or or been started or been a been a heavy snaps guy, let's say, because you know starting is is weird in today's NFL. But Javon Bullard has been there, has been starting uh, since day one, and. Um, has also been able to step into the slot role and play pretty well, which I think is pretty rare at this position. So it looks like they got three guys who can really contribute on their defense. They really needed that because they missed on so many picks on that defense. They did so many disappointing guys come through. So right now it looks like a great draft. You could probably talk me into like there will be pass, they will be passed up by other teams as it goes because two safeties and a linebacker, if we're talking value eventually, like are the Bears going to get over them, you know, or some of the other teams I have lower going to get over them just based on the strength of like they've got a star in their class and the Packers don't have like a, a star in their group. That's definitely a, a, a reasonable argument, in my opinion. Also, Jordan Morgan, what becomes of him? We haven't really seen enough yet for me to feel strong way one way or the other, but if they can get their first round pick to be like a solid starter, which they have with most offensive linemen that is probably the upside move for this class looking better than it looks currently so through this amount of games they're number two for me if you ask me what i'm guessing at the end of the season where it'll be my guess is they get bypassed by some other teams with players maybe that are a little more productive a little more important roles but just from what we've seen so far, this class has been pretty lights out. Yeah, I, I do agree, obviously, you, you know, with the strength of the group. 